Okay, so what's going on everyone welcome back to another video and in this video i'm going to be going over basically just going to be going over a catch up for i guess going over for the crossover and everything that's going to be going on later on tonight or something i'm pretty sure it's airing at like 1 p.m uk time which is like 8 a.m 8 p.m eastern standard time and it's just all of that kind of times so i'm not too sure on the times for every i guess place in the world but i just know for the uk it is going to be for 1 a.m so if you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe as I'm going to be going over all of these videos. I will hopefully have a lot more videos coming up later on this week. And I just want everyone to basically subscribe to catch up along my Marvel and DC videos and just Star Wars stuff in general. So if you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to create a gaming channel that's going to be going over like leaks and everything. It's going to be going over a few things, which is going to be, I guess it's going to be going over leaks for games like Star Wars Battlefront 2, which it's going to be called Games for Nerfs which is a name that I came up with myself. I really do enjoy it and it is currently in the making from all the behind the scenes kind of thing. And it should be live by the, I guess the weekend I'll have my first video up, but I hopefully I'll have it up on around Friday-ish, which isn't too long away, I guess. So getting into the whole video, I'm not too sure if I'm gonna put a trailer into it. I, I don't think I will put a trailer into it, like into the video because I'll just get demonetized or something. But I'm just going to go over, so for the Flash, going over all the catch-up, we're just going to be going over that uh, Wally West leaves and he ends up coming back. The Thinker is going to be the main villain for the season. Iris is going to be getting married tonight, I'm pretty sure. And tonight is the night she's going to be getting married and all the Earth X kind of things, which I'm actually looking forward to a lot. So basically going over the Barry returns from the Speed Force. Barry ends up going over a load of new metahumans, which is going to be, I guess, Kilgore, just a load of metahumans in general, which... He basically defeats and then he figures out that it's going to be where the Tinker or the Finker is going to be the main villain and he's going to figure out his name and all of that. But it's not really too interesting for, I guess, the Flash or anything. But going on to Supergirl, we get to see that over this season, Monel has basically starts off with Monel and Kara kind of dealing with Monel being gone for like seven months. And then it comes up that Monel actually does return, that Supergirl is going to be going over someone called Rain. Which is at the end of the last week's episode, I'm pretty sure that we got to see a kind of a tease of her, which is going to be going, which is going to be happening. We're going to see a fight, a fight battle or something. I'm guessing in with episode nine, which is going to be in about a week's time. So I obviously can't wait for that, and maybe Ruby will have something to do with it. Honestly, I'm not too sure. But as I said, this is just going to be a catch-up video. So what you missed, what you need to basically know, it's not really going to be linked to the crossover or anything. It's just something that you should. I guess you know if you want to catch up with all these shows or you just don't really want to watch the show but you want to know what's going to be happening. So going out to Legends tomorrow, it's nothing really too interesting, it's just that they fix, they're trying to fix time and that they get a new member called Zari. And I'm pretty sure this is, is a spoiler but Stein is supposed to die in the crossover. Which is something I'm not really a fan of but with Jax will be able to use Firestorm on his own. But there's just a few other kind of things like with anachronisms and everything. So they're just going around time basically fixing all of that and doing whatever they need to do. And they ended the last two weeks episode off with Grodd, so that was pretty good. I can't wait for episode 9, it's just going to be going over a load of stuff. But I'm pretty sure episode, we're going on to episode 9 and Legends only has like 17 episodes, so that obviously sucks a lot. Even though I'm like a massive fan of Legends and I do, I am a massive fan of just the TV shows in general. And going on to Arrow, now Arrow is my, I guess, the most to talk about in a way. So Felicity is getting back with Oliver to start of the season. We get to see who survived Leanne Yu. We get to see that William's mom, Samantha, actually ended up dying. Is going now living with Oliver. Felicity is kind of like a father or like a mother figure or something, which is something that I guess I'm a fan of, but I don't don't really enjoy the character in general. So obviously I want to know what everyone's thinking of that. So we get to see who Vigilante is. We just get to go over, and, and I'm pretty sure the end of last week ep last week's episode off with. Oliver becoming the Green Arrow again, so this is something I really hyped up for. I love to seeing him as the Green Arrow. And I can't wait for this crossover that is going to be happening later on tonight, which is going to be in like 12 hours I'll be able to watch it or something, so I can't wait for that. Obviously I want to know what everyone's going to be thinking of this. Uh, this has been pretty much it for my video, which is kind of a catch up. So Black, Li Black Lightning will be starting in I think January, which is something I'll be going over as well. Honestly I'm not too sure if I should go over it every single day like the Flash and everything, but I'm definitely going to be going over it. And last and my last video was on Marvel's Runaways, which is something I'm actually a massive fan of. It's a lot better than Inhumans, so if you just want to know that, it is better than Inhumans if you want to start watching it. So I might actually, I'm going to be creating a gaming channel, which I'm just going to be going over right now. It's going to be something that I'm probably going to do just for fun. It's not going to be something I'm going to have to, I guess, upload every single day unless I really do enjoy it and I really want to get it out there. 
But with this channel, I am doing pretty well. I actually am really excited about what I'm doing with the channel, and I love to see what I'm going to do going on forward. And I obviously want to know what I'm going to be doing with my other channel, which is going to be gaming. It's going to be going over leaks and everything, so if you're interested in that, I'll leave the link to it in the description. And as I said, I'll be just doing all the behind the scenes kind of work until about the weekend. And that's when I'm going to have my first video up. Or maybe even Wednesday or Thursday if I do end up doing a lot of behind the scenes and I don't upload a video during one day. But I'm still going to try and upload one video per day if you know what I mean. This is also something I wanted to talk about. I'm not too sure if I should do this but I really do think I might do it for at least a week and try not and see what it happens. So usually what I usually try and do is have two videos out per day which is something that I do enjoy but it does take up a long time. It does take up quite a bit of time to be honest. Like... I've been just doing one video per day for, I guess, the past week-ish. Well, trying. And whenever I do one video, it can take up to four hours to get every... With the video done and everything. With the video thumbnail done, which usually takes the longest. And just doing the whole video in general. And doing every special effect thing. Or, like, everything I have to do in the editing. So, I might try and combine the videos, if you know what I mean. So, I might have a video on Arrow. And then go on to the Flash, like an Arrow review. And then go on to the Flash later on in the video. But I'm not too sure, I might try it out for a week or something, I might try it out for a video and see how it goes. Obviously it's going to be super long, which is something I might call a mega video, but I don't think I will end up calling it a mega video. So obviously I want to know what everyone's going to think of that in the comments. So this has been pretty much it for my video, so obviously subscribe if you're new and just do all of that. And I'll probably have a video out tomorrow, I'm not too sure what I'm going to go over tomorrow. It's just going to be all the crossover review and maybe going on for that, or tomorrow's episode and stuff. So... Uh, I guess that's been pretty much it for my video, and I will see you in the next video, and peace.